I think the American colonization of India is worse than the British because British was blatant. Yeah. British was physical level. They came to plunder. They came to do all this stuff. But you know, we knew the people in India, my grandparents' generation and before, they knew that okay, these are conquerors. They're in controlling us, and we are the ruled people. And you know, they are colonize us. Now the idea is the Americans are more sophisticated, and by hiring a large number of Indians to, in this enterprise and buying them out, uh, you know, they blurred this issue. And so it takes. This is why they're very upset at a guy like me as a kind of a whistleblower pointing this out, that this is this whole thing is a hoax. So what we are calling liberal arts is actually a hoax. So uh, so I want to ma- re- mention two other trends in India. One yeah. is that the Americanized liberal arts is now being set up in university campuses in India, one campus after another, and and it has become a fashion. Previously, it used to be. that the this kind of an export of such knowledge to india was done with a few very senior people who came and studied here the gayatri spivak types and you know a few dozen others and they would go back give lectures and train people but now entire universities liberal arts colleges are being set up it's very fashionable to set mm-hmm. up an american liberal arts college in india and, and to bring this kind of a curriculum which has no hard sciences in it logic in it hard philosophy it's basically it's basically all relativism and basically about victimhood and who's who's the oppressor and who's the oppressed and it's right. all bringing this kind of a politics into the into the university becoming very emotional and you bring in people who are supposed to be the victims and everybody else is supposed to be apologizing for their tradition right. for their culture so it's become a theater like that this is not serious education but this is what is happening in india